I'm gonna be honest here, the only reason why I made this video, what inspired me to make this video about Darcy and Stacy, is this picture right here. What is this? What is this face, honestly? How did we go from this to this and then this? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck? I am convinced that she just had another surgery because what the fuck is going on with her neck? Like, did her skin kind of stretch down a little bit? I'm sorry, I'm focusing way too much on this. Let's just get right into the video. So, out of nowhere, TLC decides to uh, make a tell-all for Darcy and Stacy. They never do that for any other show besides 90 Day Fiancé. So, why would they do a tell-all for Darcy and Stacy? So many other shows out there that truly deserve a tell-all. Like the 1,000 pound sisters, they could do a tell-all for that, but no. Let's do a tell-all for Darcy and Stacy. I understand that Georgie may or may not be here. Right. What's going well, on? Uh, Georgie's a little apprehensive about coming to the tell-all today and he wants to go into real estate. So he's taking classes three days a week to uh, get his license. So, you know, today he will be studying for that. I'm sorry, but that has nothing to do with the show. No hate to Georgie, but that was such a dumb excuse. Uh, we have this big tell all over here. You're probably getting paid about 1.5 to $2,000, but uh, he's busy studying for a class. Truly, just the dumbest fucking excuse. At one point, he thought he was going to. He was like, you know, 70-30. And so he's in New York. He's in New York. He came. Uh -huh. But, um, I don't know. Maybe he just doesn't want to get triggered by things. That's the real reason. Just shocked that he chose not to show up. It's okay for him to come to New York, stay in the hotel, but not support her on stage. So that's the real reason. He knows it's going to be one of those episodes where shit is gonna go down and everyone's gonna go after him because no one is ever defending Georgie. Have you seen all the episodes? They're always on to Georgie. It's always Georgie being the bad guy, Georgie doing this, Georgie doing that, and I get that Georgie is not a perfect human being, but god damn, it's always fucking Georgie for anything. The fact that he didn't show up here truly shows that he doesn't like the drama because he knows this is gonna be a dramatic ass episode and that's why he didn't show up here and if he did he knows that everyone would just bash him i feel like it's a red flag to what's to come a red flag i think at times he thinks we're gonna like judge him or gang up on him or something exactly. which is not the case yeah. Th this is the man that you want to spend the rest of your life with absolutely if uh, your man doesn't show up at a tell-all for people to bash him Red flag. Do you see the amount of red flags right now? Look at all those red flags. The room is full of red flags. Stace, what the fuck are you on about? Your husband cheated on you while you guys were in a relationship and you're still together. Remember those pictures, Stace? You know, the pictures right there when uh, the girl that he slept with exposed him that they were sleeping together? That wasn't a red flag, right? Yeah, that was a green flag. Is Stacy colorblind? That's not a green flag, it's, it's a red flag. I think it's the surgery. You know that they changed the eyes and whatever they did to the eyes? I think that uh, probably affected her eyesight. So now, instead of red, she sees green flags when it comes to her red flags. You know, it'd be nice to have you by my side just to feel loved and protected as well. You're talking about I'm not there to be having your support. Your support from what? From your exes, the poor Tom and Jesse? Support from what? Wait, what? You grow enough. I don't need to be there to support you. You grow enough. Your family is there. They're going to support you. You don't need to be there to support you. Actually, I need support from you right now because I'm been. dealing with emotional stuff and I don't want to be there I dealing understand. with other people. Hold up. Oh my God, these motherfuckers. So it looks like TLC told them that Jesse and Tom are going to be there. Why though? It's been about three years now, two years, maybe three and a half since last time she had Tom as an ex and let alone Jess? They broke up like four fucking years ago or some shit. Why is he in this tell-all when they had nothing to do with the show? Jess and Tom were never in the Darcy and Stacey show. 
Why the fuck are they here? So it looks like they told them and that's why Georgie is not here. Not because the Georgie doesn't want to be here, but because they told them Tom and Jesse is going to be here. Sorry, but I feel like I wouldn't show up as well. Why would I show up at a show where I know they're going to be talking about my girlfriend's exes? Not just one ex, but a couple of exes. And they're gonna compare me to them? And they're also gonna bash me? I was over here thinking that Georgie is not supporting his girlfriend. But shit, he knew! He knew that they're gonna invite fucking Tom and Jesse for some reason. That's why he didn't show up. Uh, with their bull I have more and more stuff to do in my life. I don't care about these people. This is stupid. Come on, grow up. I'm not happy. I'm not happy with... Uh how he's talking to my daughter. Yeah, he could have been a little more calm, but like, how is, he, how is he gonna sit right next to Florian? And even though it was exposed on a fucking TV show that Florian cheated, and he's just sitting right next to Florian, he's like, yeah, dude, I don't like the way he's talking to my daughter. That's not acceptable though. Uh, yeah, you're right. I would never talk like that to Stacy. Yeah, I would never do such a thing. Oh my God, thank God this dude didn't watch the episode where they exposed me that I cheated on Stacy. Yeah, dude, I would never talk to Stacy like that. Do you think Georgie is in love with Darcy? Ooh. Bluntly, no, do I, don't. do I think he's in love with Darcy? No. How do you feel hearing your father say that? What he's saying is correct. I do at times feel like he's not in love with me. I feel like he's there to get what he needs and desires and wants because I'm providing. I feel like there is a love that we have for each other and I'm really Seems temporary. Hoping. But you do agree that uh, Florian who cheated on, I'm sorry, I gotta I got bring it up because this motherfucker cheated on Stacey. But the issue here is Georgie. Even though he hasn't cheated on her, the issue is still Georgie. Fuck Georgie for never cheating on Darcy. How dare he? Look at Florian though. He's such a gentleman just cheating on my daughter. So I've watched like 18 minutes so far. And let me tell you that uh, they never asked Stacy a question. Stacy rarely ever says something because most of the time it's always about Darcy. I'm over here like, why did they name the show Darcy and Stacy when Stacy doesn't do anything? half of the fucking episode she hasn't said anything and it's not like she's not trying to say anything it's just that they don't ask her questions it's always about darcy i swear they're gonna end this episode not asking stacy a single question i'm here to get georgia oh he's trying to get georgia now see. i'm going to talk to georgia and uh, i need like prelati to talk to him Sorry. What does that mean? Are we not going in? Yo! Hey, Georgie. Okay, at least the mic is on. Switch off the mic. It's off. They just cut the best part of this whole tell-all. <laughs> I was really hoping to hear the conversation on what he would say. That would be the best fucking part of this tell-all. And, uh... He switched off the mic. Understandable, but now we are stuck with uh, Darcy and Stacy again. No, my bad. Now we're stuck with Darcy again because Stacy doesn't say anything. Who paid for the wedding ring? She paid, didn't she? It was it was a wedding ring that we saw that we saw that we liked from a New York Diamond District. Who who whipped out the credit card for the? Be honest. Just just I put some of my money towards it. And Georgie put some of his towards it? No. She had to ask three questions for her to finally say... She didn't even say yes, honestly. I put some of my money. It took like 20 fucking minutes just for her to say something. So who paid for the wedding ring? Oh, so about the wedding ring, um, we went shopping the other day for the wedding ring and I saw these shoes, oh my god, to die for. I had to buy them because they looked ama amazing. They had glitter on it. And oh, like, that's cool, but um, who paid for the wedding ring? Oh, the wedding ring? Uh, 
Do y'all have any snacks here though? Because I'm kind of hungry. But as I was saying, the wedding ring, we saw it together and we talked and we did all of that stuff and things. And we did stuff. Darcy, this is my show and you're pissing me the fuck off. Now, can you just fucking tell me who paid with that fucking credit card, bitch? Oh, uh, I paid some. Yeah, I paid some. Yeah, I paid some. Actually, I paid the entire thing. Yeah, I did pay the full ring. Darcy, she didn't ask about your shoe size. You're not writing an essay here and you're trying to fill up that word count. Just tell us who the fuck paid for the ring. Is this the first time everybody's finding out that Darcy paid for her own ring? I know that she's been funding the relationship to a large degree. I don't think it's right. Darcy is giving too much. It wasn't much. It was like 10,000 down. Down? <laughs> what? Well, it's a big ring. Wow. 10,000 down. And uh, y'all are here expecting uh, Georgie, a dude who hasn't worked since uh, Corona hit, to pay for a ring like that? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck y'all doing lately, but uh, how is a guy that's not working uh, since Corona hit supposed to uh, afford a ring like that? I mean, come on. At this point, you really cannot blame Georgie because Darcy's standards are so fucking high, dude. Like, you really need to be a rich fucking sugar daddy to pay for Darcy's shit. That's why Georgie can't pay for a lot of shit because Darcy is very expensive, dude. And not just the ring, but she likes to go out. She goes to expensive places. How the fuck? fuck is a regular ass person supposed to afford Darcy? She really just said, oh, uh, my ring, it wasn't that bad. Like, it was really cheap, honestly. We got it on a deal and I put $10,000 down. It wasn't that expensive. See this, guys? Not lying. A dollar 68 cents from eBay. No bullshit. Do you think, Stacy, that you the spend dad. as much on Florian as Darcy spends on George? Well, they finally asked Stacy a the question. Difference? The love. I feel like my family could vouch for the, the kind of love that Florian has for me. And uh, I don't think the love is, is equal. We don't, we we don't know. We're we still not seeing that well, unconditional love. He's like there he's for me and he hasn't been there for the kids the and stuff. Well, Florian hasn't worked as well. He literally hasn't worked at all since he came here. So why did she make this about Georgie? They finally asked Stacy a question and she turned it into an answer for Georgie. Why was this about Georgie? She said, do you think you spend this much on uh, Florian? And she's like, uh, actually, I think the love that uh, Georgie and Darcy have together is not very genuine. Like, that question was for you and Florian. Because obviously you pay for everything when it comes to Florian and the, when you guys go out. So Florian and Georgie are in the same fucking boat here. When you and Georgie were together, did you ever pay for things? No. D d dinner? Wait, nothing. that's his ex-wife. Because no. Georgie's actually good with money. He always had savings. He was working. Interesting. That's so interesting. You said he was good with money, but... You know, Darcy, you said you don't even know how much money he has. Yeah, because he hasn't, you know, worked since I've known him. It's interesting she says that because I feel like Georgie was living a normal lifestyle with the woman that she that he was married. And that's why he was good with money. But when it comes to being with Darcy, how is he supposed to pay for all the expensive shit? Did you guys watch the show where every episode they were doing something that was expensive like for a normal human being that's not affordable and he has to find a job he, he really does but even if he had a job he would not be able to afford what darcy wants a ring that was ten thousand down <laughs> what and i love how she said oh it wasn't too much just ten thousand down yeah, maybe for rich fucking people, but not for someone like me or for someone like Georgie. And how his ex-wife said, oh, he was really good with money. They weren't living an expensive lifestyle. Like she said, it's gaslighting. It's never taking accountability for his actions. He likes to flip it on everybody else. He's very entitled. Are we ever going to talk about you? Listen, I couldn't care less about his ex-wife because 
it's his ex-wife why is she here but like when are we ever gonna talk about uh stacy because so far the two sentences that stacy has said they were about uh georgie give my dude georgie a break y'all the fact that it's her it's darcy it's stacy it's tlc making him look bad on camera Y'all, he's not a perfect human being, but goddamn, give the poor dude a break. I truly feel like they really made this dude depressed. Jesse has made oh, the here. accusation that Darcy was cheating on him with you. For me, the definition of cheating is if you were still going balls deep in it and you weren't. Well, Who let me give tell it? you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Jesse, there has to come a point well, why where are they you here? let go. You're coming here being a hypocrite and I will not take it. What are you here? Why the no fuck? Exactly. Why the fuck is Jesse? Who are you? Why are Jesse and Tom here though? <laughs> it's been so many years. They had nothing to do with the show. This was just to make up some drama. And I am so glad that Georgie didn't show up to deal with the TLC's bullshit. Are we ever gonna talk about uh, Florian and Stacy? Like ever? The last 20 seconds that we just saw were a spoiler for the tell all part two. But um when are they like ever going to talk about Stacy? This entire 40 something minutes of a tell all part 1. Stacy said two sentences. <laughs> two fucking sentences. Oh my god. <laughs> Imagine just sitting there on a couch and just listening to shit. Let me tell you something. Jesse, there has to come a point where you let go. You're coming here being a hypocrite and I will not take it. What you here? Why the no fuck reason you're here? I wanna know who are you? What? Oh, Rips, I have. Listen to me. Does he come to my face and can we'll, we'll are you see standing? He's on a stranger. Can you sit down? I don't know who you are, but please sit down. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought about this insane tell all the crazy drama that was just so unpredictable and like so many secrets were revealed yeah absolutely insane and part two is gonna be even crazier because part two we get to watch more of just uh, Darcy and her exes because we care about the exes right yeah we care about those uh, mm. Stacy who's Stacy oh the girl that was sitting right next to Darcy Oh, I thought she was just like a backup dancer. Yeah, I don't know what this tell-all was. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please hit like, subscribe, and the bell icon if you enjoyed this dumb video. Stay safe, everyone, and get ready for the tell-all part two because that's gonna be epic. So much drama happening. Will Stacy ever say a single sentence? Find out on the next episode.